Hey everybody, it's Shadowstar and Crystal here for another review of Constantine. And this time it's episode 11, A Whole World Out There. And this was an interesting episode. Yeah, yeah. It no was... Zed, no Chaz. Yeah. Instead we got Richie, somebody I never thought would come back. Yeah. And it was an interest. It was a very interesting episode because, you know, Richie was just kind of a random character. I only enjoyed him in the first episode because I recognized the actor, but this time, I actually really enjoyed his character. Yeah, and yeah, you know, pretty good. And it took a turn for this story turned out a lot better than I thought it would be. Yeah, like I remember, I remember at first I thought, oh, he's gonna st at the ending. I thought he really was gonna stay behind. Yeah. But, you know, he didn't. You'd go crazy. You'd get lonely in there. Exactly, exactly. But, you know, he did but choose to it stay. it still raises the point of, in the end, can't he still go back whenever he wants? Can Maybe. He? That's a good question. Can he? He could just go there and visit whenever. I don't know. That's what I thought of it. But See, at first I thought, at first I thought he's going to stay... And he'd stay with the few people who were there. Yeah, but the the house kind of got destroyed and Constantine said their souls have moved on now. Yeah, I know. Well, that was before that. I thought maybe that had happened. But uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, the whole concept before that, though, the whole concept, of course, just reminded me of Nightmare on Elm Street. Oh, yeah, of course. If yeah. you die in there, you die in real life. Although, speaking of people we haven't seen in a while, we got to see Manny in this episode, but he, did, once again, didn't do much. Yeah. It was very weird. He just showed up a few times. I don't know. I'm sure he's going to have some role to play soon. We only have two lep episodes after this. Yeah. But the, the whole concept of a house in an empty world, especially when we saw a shot of just the house, reminded me of Coraline. Okay, I've never seen that movie. Oh, well, it's pretty good, especially how we had that guy there who basically created that world and was in control of it, like the other mother in Coraline. Because most people agree that the other mother probably created the other world. Yeah. Also, it, it is very similar to it, how you've... Because in Coraline, when they tr when she tries to walk away, there's it, it's just a house in an empty world. I I really I really did like the ending though. Yeah, it was pretty good. I re yeah I really liked that ending at the end with Richie. Yeah, still I guess I'll go as high as six point five for that. I'm gonna give it a seven, but I oh, look, I really did enjoy Richie's character, and I I honestly this episode did take a turn for you know I don't know why I really thought oh we're bringing Richie back he's gonna die I don't know why I just had that feeling throughout the whole episode. Honestly, when we saw him, I didn't even really remember him. I know. Uh, that's a fair point. That's the thing. I was wondering if you would remember him. He just showed up in that first episode. Yeah. I remember in that first episode, you thought he was going to be a Felicity. Oh, right. Yeah. Now, I, yeah, I kind of remember he was there helping. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's the thing. We have to, it's, it's weird how most of the people from the first episode didn't stick around. Yeah. But Richie was here. But That's right, because there was this other girl there that they were probably planning to keep, and then for some reason they couldn't keep her, so they made Zed. Yeah. And I'm glad. I like Zed. I know. I remember in that first episode you really enjoyed the first girl, though. Yeah, and I was disappointed she had to leave, but eh, we got Zed. That's good, too. Yeah, it's funny, though, because Richie's character really does remind me of the character he plays a different character, his actor. Yeah, so I keep trying to think if there could logically be a connection because he really does feel like a similar character. Anything I've seen? Yes, it's a character you'll recognise. I'll mention it when we eventually get to that character. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mentioned that before, Yeah, but he later plays a different character in the Arrowverse. Oh, I don't remember it. I'm sure you, I'll mention it when we get to him. Okay. But this was an enjoyable episode. It was, it was a very self-contained episode. Yeah, true. But... I don't know, I really enjoyed that ending with Richie. Re I don't know, I enjoyed his character so much in this episode. I don't know what it is. Yeah, yeah, it was interesting. Yeah. But I believe the next episode is... Oh, I forgot what it's called. The next episode is called Angels and Ministers of Grace. Oh, of course, Angels, yeah. 
I mean, once again, that could mean anything, but hopefully that ties in with Manny, because we really... Yeah, of course. I feel like he's the one character who really needs to have an episode. Yeah. The best we got was the one with Imogen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I hope something's gotta happen. Yeah. But this was enjoyable. This was... There's only two episodes left. Yeah. Crazy. Crazy to think we're almost done this show and that'll be it. Yeah. Crazy to think we now feel like we're wanting more. Because at the start, we weren't sure if we... Well, I wasn't sure if I'd enjoy it. I wasn't sure either, but, I mean, we've really warmed up in the second half. Yeah, of course. It was... That's the thing. Right around the halfway mark, I was thinking, all right, this is enjoyable, but I want something more. And just as that image and episode showed up, that was exactly what we needed. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But with that being said... We will see you next time for more Constantine and other things as well. See See you you next time, time, guys. guys. See you next time.